welcome to today's Morning Minute. For our study today, we're in the first epistle of John, chapter 3, and I want to read verses 22 and 23. And whatever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us his commandment. Have you ever had God say no to something that you ask for? Maybe you ask God for a new car. Or maybe you ask God for a better position at work. Or something else having to do with things in this world that we feel we need. And God says no. How do you feel when you come across passages like this that seem to say that whatever we ask, we'll receive? Whatever we ask. How are we supposed to understand passages like this? Is John telling us something that isn't quite true? Well, the answer to that is simply no. Our inner dissonance comes from a misunderstanding of what it is that John is promising here. His promise is real. It's true. 100%. Everything that we ask, we do receive from the Father. But this begs the question, what is it for the asking that John is talking about? We need to remember that for John, for any of the writers of Scripture, and for any mature believer in Jesus Christ, God is not the answer to our consumerism. Jesus Christ wasn't sent into the world to die to grant us health and wealth and satisfy all of our earthly material needs. Our salvation is not a vending machine through which we get all the goodies that the world has to offer. And those things are certainly not John's concern in the face of this wonderful promise. When he says that whatever we ask, we receive of him, John isn't talking about cars or houses or jobs or even earthly physical health. John is talking about our relationship with our Creator and the countless blessings that come from that Creator in Jesus Christ. In regard to matters of the soul and the blessings of redemption, there is not a single thing that God holds back from His children. Everything that we ask for in regard to our heart, our sin, our eternity, is guaranteed us in Jesus Christ. The Lord is never stingy with the fruits of his grace. While in his wisdom and goodness he may say no when we ask for a new car, or he may say no when we ask to be healed of some earthly malady, or he may say no to that promotion that we want so much. Everything in regard to our relationship with Him and our peace with Him is a hundred percent yes and amen in Jesus Christ, whatever we may ask. O Lord, may my sin be conquered. Yes, it will happen, says the Lord. O Lord, may I have peace with you. Yes, it will happen, says the Lord. And even if we don't, reap the full experience of those benefits in this life. We will in the life to come. Sin will be conquered, death will be defeated, and we will live in peace with God forever. Nothing held back in regard to our salvation. Truly, whatever we ask of him in Christ will be given. Jesus Christ did not bleed and die to fill us up with temporary earthly things or to grant us health and wealth. 
He died to grant us the wealth of the Father himself, all the abundance of heaven. He died to fill up our souls with his holy peace and presence. Let's pray that God would deliver us from believing that Jesus is an avenue to satisfy our lusts. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit would grow us up in our thoughts, our desires, and our prayers, that we will find ourselves asking more and more for the things of the Spirit and not so much for earthly things. Is God angry when we ask for things of this world? Of course not. But this text reminds us what our priority ought to be, that we should be asking God, pleading with God for the food of the soul and the fruit of our relationship with him. Let's pray about that. Heavenly Father, may your Holy Spirit deliver us from believing that Christ has died to answer our covetousness. May we instead realize that Christ has died because you covet our soul and you desire to see us blessed with all the fruits of fellowship with you and all the joys of eternal life. May those things be the subject matter of our prayers more and more. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. May the Lord bless you and I with a heavenly focus as we ask things of our God. Thank you for visiting with me today.